What's up guys, welcome, it's Thomas with TJZ Tech. In today's video, we'll be going over the best free equalizer for Mac, and yes, this does include Big Sur. So without further ado, let's install it, go over some of the features, and determine if this is the best one for you. Step one is to click the nice download button. Again, as I mentioned that this is a free application, it's currently in beta mode. It's been in beta mode for a little bit, uh, probably at least a year or so now. Um, I will be using this as my daily driver, so if there's any problems with it, I'll be updating this video or updating the description below. That includes if it's no longer free, once they get out of beta, I will keep you guys up to date on that. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my downloads and click on the package. You're going to get all these warnings, that lovely stuff. Um, you will want to allow systemsuiserver.app once we get uh, to that stage. So of course, go ahead and click continue. It'll take up 39.2 meg. And apparently it wants me to close Safari, so yes, go ahead and do that, and I'll enter in my password. Okay, now it says that I'm opening it for the first time, just go ahead and click open on this screen. Should be exactly the same on Big Sur, and then it'll take a little bit of time here. And then finally it's loaded. So I actually had this installed before, and if it asks you to, you will want to install the drivers. It's really quick, um, and then you'll have to restart your Mac. I did have to do that previously. Um, unfortunately, it's not asking me to do that now because I already had it installed, but just keep that in mind when you're going through your installation process. So as we can see, um, once you close it, it'll ask you to move it to the trash, which is good. And then up at the top in your status bar, you will see the new icon for EQ Mac. The first thing you might want to do is go over to the right hand side here and click on the settings icon and there's a couple things that you might want to do um, for instance i think the original icon shows on um, both so that'll be that'll show you on your dock at the bottom here and then as well as the top i'm not a big fan of that so i'll just click on status bar and it'll only show it up at the top as you can see here another option that you might want to check is launch on startup this just automatically runs eq mac in the background as soon as you start up your computer so that you don't have to worry about it every time you restart it'll automatically up be up and running the only other settings is to replace the knobs with sliders and then uninstall the program so very nice so next off you can switch between two different equalizer modes for the novice and the expert i believe the default one is the advanced equalizer but if you click this arrow here it's going to show you the basic one where you can just basically boost the mids or the bass and the treble etc for the purposes of this video we're going to be sticking with the advanced equalizer also you want to make sure that you have this green little dot here that ensures that the equalizer is actually present and running Lastly, on this row, you'll see that there's another settings icon. This is just strictly for the equalizer, and that basically lets you import and export presets. So talking about presets, we have a couple of default ones here. I think you're going to start off in flat. Uh, you also have acoustic, bass booster, reducer, etc. It's pretty much all the standard stuff that you used to get with your old iPod back in the day. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off with flat. And then of course you have your global boost right here. It'll start off at zero, but you can increase it if you want a little bit more volume. For example, on the MacBook that I'm using, the default speakers are kind of quiet and I'm always usually almost maxing them out. This laptop's also probably like six or eight years old. So that could be a reason why. But with this application, I like to boost it up just a little bit, not too much to distort it. But if you have maybe different kind of headphones, this can be pretty useful for you. So next up below that, you have your 10 band equalizer. And I'm not really gonna go into too much detail on how exactly to use an equalizer. I do plan on doing a full video just to kind of go over that. Plus there's plenty of other ones out there on YouTube. Go ahead and just do a quick search and you'll find pretty much everything. But generally what I like to do is boost up the bass, the low ends right around here. And then also I like to boost the highs or the trebles a little bit. Um, quick note is if you double tap on one of these, that'll automatically bring it back down to zero and reset it for you. So I think about here is where I usually have it. Um, of course, you're going to want to be doing this testing with the actual device itself, where the internal speakers on this computer is not really going to help that much. It's also picking up my microphone because it also has a stereo connection. But what I mainly use EQ Mac for is for my headphones that I don't actually have attached at the moment because I didn't want them to interfere with the microphone. So what you'll want to do is have that device selected and also, as you're tuning this, you'll probably want to play some music in the background. A quick note is it's always a good idea to go back and forth between different songs when you're adjusting this, especially songs that are of different genres, because you can end up making an adjustment here and it'll sound good with one song and then you go to another song and of course it's going to sound horrible. So just make sure that you go back and forth. Um, as for what songs you can use, there's plenty of different playlists on Spotify that people use for tuning equalizers in this example. A lot of people also mention that Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen is a 
good song to do it for, I guess, because there's a lot of highs and lows. I mean, it's in the lyrics pretty much. So that's another option. But uh, that's pretty much it as far as it goes for tuning this, as far as I'll go in this video at least. So the unfortunate thing with this program is, and I guess it's a limitation maybe because it's in beta mode, but you cannot have a different equalizer set to each device. For example, if I switch to my other device here and then I make a quick change, and switch back to the first device, it's gonna be the same. You can, however, have multiple different presets. So I can just click add here, and then I can give this a quick name just for the video. And then of course, it's gonna show up in the list in alphabetical order. So that's the only downside of this program. Again, it is still in beta, so there could be updates in the future. After doing a lot of testing, I actually meant to review a bunch of different applications. But EQ Mac really was the best one out there that's free. If you really want something with a little bit more features, you're going to have to pay. And I think the best alternative to this would be Boom 3D, as you see here. Um, you get a 31 band equalizer and a whole bunch of other good stuff. But um, you also see that it's 20 bucks. So for the price of free, you know, I think EQ Mac does an amazing job. And I will say that the sound quality is awesome. Like I mentioned, I do have a pretty decent headset that I use as my daily as well as my AirPods. And this works extremely well with them. Getting down to the 32 hertz is really good for bass. And overall, I've been pretty satisfied with this. I've been using it for over a week. I've done a lot of resets, restarts, etc., and updates. And there hasn't been any hiccup with this. But like I said, I will keep the description up to date in case there's any changes, there's a serious update, or if it's no longer available for free. And if it ever does stop working or if they kill the service, of course, I'll be coming at you with a new video. So make sure you subscribe or stay subscribed. And also feel free to drop a good old fashioned like if this video helped you out. That about wraps it up. Peace out.